All right, YouTube, MCOL40 here. I'm doing an Orico or Orico showcase video. I've been meaning to do one of these for a while. Um, I absolutely love Orico's. They are one of the coolest things in this game to me. And I wanted to show off some work that I have recently acquired. Um, first off, um, this is from Asian Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, he designed these for me for when hieroglyphs come out so I can proxy the deck. I love the style of hollow that he has for these. Um, he needs to improve a little bit on his printing work. Um, unfortunately, I mean, uh, my only real complaint is the printing that you have, bro, but, you know, your transition is really great, and I really, really do like these. Um, your style of art and your customization, I'm putting the name down here in the stars, definitely drew me to these, and I really like them, and, you know, like I said, once you improve the quality a little bit, uh, I really will like these, but your style of hollowing is what drew me to you. Um, I haven't seen anybody with the digital or... I forgot what the other name of the other kind of style of hollow you have, but it kind of reverses the lines. And that was what made this really cool. So please do keep printing your Arika's Asian Yu-Gi-Oh! I really do like these guys, and please, you know, do check him out if you're interested in the style of card. It is really cool and it makes it unique, you know. The Iris and or the Idris and the Tyrus are definitely unique. And he can handle custom orders like this as well. The next one. Recently acquired this from eBay from Orika Maker. Uh, please check him out and send him a message. Um, those of you that are fans of Cardfight Vanguard, this is a Ghost Rare designed by him. It's done on the actual Cardfight Vanguard card. Um, but as you can see, style of card is really good. Text is pretty clear. And, you know, the style of card itself, it's really cool. You know, I mean, I really wish I could use this, but I really like the way that it turned out. And, you know, this could be a step forward for Bushiroto if they actually went with Ghost Rares. But the style of foiling is really great. Um, the cards, it depends on your price. Um, something like this is a little bit more expensive, you know. But he does have, he can make them. And, you know, I like it just because of the style. And it seems really cool and really unique. So please do check out... Orika Maker for Ghost Rare Cardfight Vanguard cards. Like I said, he's one of the first ones that actually do it on the actual Yugi back, or on the actual Cardfight Vanguard back. So the next one I want to talk about, you guys hear about him all the time, Kuro Cresta. Now, you guys know, Kuro has come a long, long way. These are some of his first runs, like his first, first runs. I know that he says to send these in to him, but, you know, I like to keep people's work, you know. Actual Shining, piece of paper you put over the card. He still does these, but these are his original designs. His newer designs have a border around the card that you can just signify his work from other people's work. And it's actually really cool. But these were his first run designs, and he's come a long way. Um, a lot of the stuff that he produces for me are a little bit lower quality. But that shouldn't turn you away from his work because I usually make him print this stuff out faster for me. Um, so I can have it for like the Rekakos challenge and I lose quality when I do that. But, you know, he's a very good designer. Card of Demise designed this for me. Turned out really, really good. Um, sometimes the card backs get a little bit worn from the material that he uses. But uh, that's a small sacrifice that you make for these style of Arikas. Chosen Destiny also kind of lost a little bit there, but not much, you know. Overall, these style of Arikas from him are very, very good. I like them. And then this is something that he's getting into. Um, I saw that he finally posted a video, so I'm allowed to talk about these. Uh, he designed these for me. These were his first run of Carfight Vanguard Arikas. As you can see, they're done on... Yugi Becks, um, he translated the text for me, and, you know, unfortunately, the only image we could find at the time was Sample, but, you know, this was a long time ago when he made these, and they turned out really good. He also designed this, the MCOL 40 that you guys saw on his channel. Um, this turned out really good as well. Uh, the text is visible, you know, that's the one thing I really like about his printing. The card quality, if you rush him on the order, it'll be down a little bit, but you're still going to get visible text, which is really beautiful. It's something that Quite a few Arika people have issues with. I I guess it depends on their style of printing. And, you know, the card back, it's a little bit scratchy, as you can hear. But, you know, turned out really good. But Kuro can pretty much handle anything. 
you just got to catch him on a good day and hope he's not busy. And, you know, he will get back to you. just takes time. But, you know, the smaller name Orica people, you have to give them a chance, too. You know, they're all designers. So if you have any specific request, I'm pr really sure Kuro can help you out with it. Just same thing with Asian Yu-Gi-Oh! And if you want a Ghost Rare on a uh, back, talk to Orica Maker. If you want it on a Yu-Gi-Oh! back, go to Kuro. They're both really good. Arika makers are a little bit more expensive, but the quality is there and it is worth it. I, I do recommend that. But yeah, guys, please leave a comment down below what you guys think about Arikas. Um, I didn't get these for free. None of them. I actually pay for this stuff. You know, I'm just reviewing it to give my opinion and to help these guys out because I really want to see them grow because I love Arikas, you know, this is one of the favorite things that I enjoy in this game. It's the ability to collect rare things like this, you know, even though they are handmade, you know, you have to give people the time and day, and you have to show off their work, and that's what makes it really, really cool. So, like I said, guys, Kuro's come a long way, you know, just don't push him, and, you know, he'll make your cards amazing quality. Like this, this turned out really well, and I didn't rush him on it, I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, stuff that you need fast, just be patient with him and he'll get it to you. I have a lot of people talk about Crow and they're like, he's not getting back to me. Be patient, guys. In terms of Orika Maker, I do love his Ghost Rares in short review. Uh, the text is very, very visible for a Japanese card. That's one of the things I like. He keeps it, you know, in Japanese format. You could probably request English, but... You know, and then Asian Yu-Gi-Oh is going to come a long way. Uh, he's working on it, I know he is. And, you know, his style of foiling is what drew me to him. So, yeah, guys, please leave a comment down below what you guys think about these Arikas. Um, please do uh, contact me if you have Arikas. I would like to see what you guys have. I'm always looking for proxies, you know, to use in my dual videos when I actually do get a dual video up. Like YCSs, I love taking this stuff. It's what makes it so unique, you know. Just got to have fun in those playing people for fun. So hey guys, M Cool 40 up. Please check out Asian Yu-Gi-Oh, Orika Maker, and Kuro Cresta. Peace.